Annabelle. So I wanted to do another fan vlog for you guys and I wanted to um, tell you guys about the five pieces of advice that I wish I would have gotten that I share with new moms or moms to be and things like that. So I'm going to try to go through these quickly so it's not like long and drug out and boring. Okay, so the first thing that I always tell um, people or the advice that I wish that I would have gotten is um, to nurse your baby if you can. Breastfeed, pump and give the bottle. Um, just do whatever you can. I do understand there are circumstances where you can't do that. Um, but that is a, one piece of advice. I think it is so worth it, um, both for saving money and just for the benefit for baby. That's my first one. The second one is to make sure that you have a routine and a schedule with your baby. Um, some people say that you can't put a newborn on a schedule. Well, I have three kids that are proof that it is possible. And I do believe in a baby's natural schedule, and I do believe that it can be molded to fit um, anyone's lifestyle and things like that to benefit the baby. Um, they need routine, consistency. Um, they need to know what's coming next and know that their needs are gonna be taken care of. It just creates more calm with your family, with baby and everything. Um, my third one would be to stay calm. Um, there's lots of new moms and stuff get agitated and everything like that with baby crying and things. Well, the first thing that you do know about babies is that they do cry. Um, and so one of the things is, is to remain calm. Also, like as they grow up, you have to remain calm when they do something wrong, when they fall down and get hurt and things like that. All those situations, it's just, it's a good thing to learn is to remain calm in stressful situations, emergency situations, so you don't freak your kid out um, or anything like that. Um, let's see, the third or the fourth one would be to remain open to new things. Um, I know every new mom usually thinks that they've read everything and all of that, but um, my advice is to be open to what other people have to say um, and also be open for things to change as well. Um, I know like my kids, they had a switch at three months, at six months, at nine months, and at a year. Like their, their internal like system like switched. Um, it's just a theory that I have for right now, but it seems like every three months um, there's like major changes in their development and just how they perceive the world and all that kind of stuff. So just be open to change and even if something worked for a little bit, be open that it might change um, again like relatively soon after it changed. Um, and then number five would be to enjoy every single second, every single second of every single moment <laughs> that you have with your baby. Um, it's just, it's so precious. It's such a precious time and that's it. Um, those are my, that's my top five. I have more than that, but if I had to say something, those would be my top five. Um, but yeah, anyways, um, any questions or comments, leave them below and I will talk to you later. Bye guys.